How's it going guys? My name is Graham and welcome to the upcoming game Rift Keeper by Frymore. It's due out on the middle of January. I'm pretty sure it's the 14th, so it's coming out fairly soon. It is a roguelite platformer. This game will have likely taken some inspiration from Dead Cells, but I, I don't want to compare too heavily until I've had a chance to play the game and get maybe a stronger sense for, for how the game holds on its own. You are finally here, Rift Keeper. We have a dire situation. As you saw on your way here, the town is abandoned. I didn't know there was definitely people hanging out around there, dude. Someone stole the Rift Keys from under our nose and we have no idea what they are planning to do with them. We used our last key to open up this portal and clean this mess up. And the last Rift Keeper we summoned gone missing along with Castamor, one of our own. We are in dire need of your help. If we can't control the rifts here, soon the whole world will be overrun by them. What lies inside is unknown to us, but you are the Rift Keeper. You know what to do. I'm gonna go ahead and assume the solution is to smash things real good like this. Oh, you can dish out some pretty sweet combos there, actually. What if I just bail, though? What if I shirk these responsibilities entirely? Not a real option. Ooh, but the jump attack is pretty cool there. I do, I do like my chain weapon. That's pretty damn cool. And a clear nine dungeons before I get to fight a boss. You need to kill 70% of monsters to proceed. You have 180 seconds to finish the dungeon for a bonus treasure chest. Okay, for a second I thought it was two minutes only no matter what. But no, that's only for a bonus. Oh, that was a huge drop, wasn't it? Do I have a better method of dodging? Damn, I'm not dodgy whatsoever. That makes fighting these archer guys much harder. But the fact that it looks like zombies and archer type characters roaming around makes it feel even more uh, dead cells -y. Just a little bit more comparisons. But then, other than that, let's give the game a chance to, to really separate itself and be its own thing. Man, I, I sure do seem to do well just bashing regular old baddies. Oh, look at that timer. Ah, and, and it's keeping track of how many things I've destroyed, how many enemies. Without an effective way to dodge, I feel kind of boned though. I, I'm like button mashing and I, I, I got nothing. I am not dodgy whatsoever. Instead, I just have to be overly aggressive. That does not seem like a, a nice long-term strategy, does it? semi-effective but as soon as yeah as soon as I have to start dealing with champions or things with projectiles I feel pooched 40% we could okay we do have a double jump um we can we can try and complete everything that guy's a maniac what the shit am I supposed to do about that come on man that's a very unfair amount of attacks that you're doing at once doesn't give me a lot to go off of Ah. Uh. I can't find any way to heal. I don't think I'm going to be able to get through 70%. That is a lot to ask on a first attempt. Oh, yeah. See, archers going to be the bane of my existence. I don't know how I'm going to deal with that shit. How about if I sneak up on him like this? Well, that kind of did a thing. You've been blessed with increased damage. Okay. I'm, I'm down with that. Too bad I'm very dead. Oh. Okay, the jump attack is hard to use properly. You found a collectible. Uh, I don't know if that is adding... Oh, I can't use the mouse in the screen. I wanted to try and hover over that buff or something to see if I can see what that's... Oh, that's just my increased damage one. The collectible, I have no idea where it is on the screen or what it has to do with anything. Hmm, I can't seem to crouch through the floor. I thought that was a possibility. I don't think we're making the two minute cutoff here. That is asking a lot. Regained your health. Oh, yeah. All right. Now my confidence is soaring back up again. <laughs> we'll see what we can do. All these slimes, you guys probably count for one, just the same as, uh, just the same as full-on skeletons and stuff would. Oh, okay. There is a large variety of enemies. Jesus Christ. But without a proper dodge ability... Come on, there's gotta be, there's gotta be a way to dodge, right? There, why was that not working before? All right, the dodge exists. I'm, I, I feel terrible for misrepresenting that. Uh, it, it is an option now though, so we can try and do something about it. That seemed very kamikaze. I don't think there was anything I could have done about that. 
Oh, I was not expecting that to be an enemy. Well, nuts, return to town then. How much how much gold did we make off with there? What do we have? Gold looted, 582. Is that how much I was able to keep? Deaths, none of the gold was kept. Hey, if you happen to find any books lying around, bring them to me and I might have something for you. Uh, oh, those were books. They look like weird flying bats. Get a random item for five collectibles. I, I don't have enough. I only found two or three, I think. Nice way to maybe flesh out my arsenal some. Our weapons are even fit for a king. Ooh, well, show me what you got. Training sword, a training halberd, vicious defender, and a heavy crossbow. Obviously a bunch of stuff I cannot afford. Oh, they cost like thousands of gold. Hundreds, thousands, not something I'm going to be able to afford right away. Hey, it's my favorite customer. And this guy's got rings and such. I'm, I'm, apparently it's not fully set up for, for gamepad at the moment. So I'm kind of having to go half and half back and forth here with the mouse. Uh, copper ring, swiftness, talisman. I, I'm just kind of going over these things real quickly just to get a sense of like prices and things like that. I used to travel through rifts too. Then... Did he uh, take an arrow to the knee, perhaps? Would you like to pray? All of your active buffs and debuffs will be removed. So I guess this would be like saving. I don't have enough for anything of what you guys are offering. I don't get excited easily, but when I see you... What are you saying? How excited are you getting? I'm a little concerned by the type of excitement. Oh. Did we end up in an, an entirely alternate, like, version of everything here? I, like, are the enemy encounters going to be different? Or is it just going to look slightly different? Oh, shit, shit. This is the guy who attacks like like that, who does a crazy amount of attacks. Yeah. I was trying to, <laughs> I was trying to be real dodgy because I did not want to be stuck dealing with that. Ooh, that guy's got a badass looking crossbow. I want to be careful about that. Come on, man. Got to give them a second to start doing their attack, I guess, before you attempt to dodge it. Can't dodge an attack they haven't started yet. Oh, a chest. Picked up 73 gold? That's not a ton, but I uh, I have no reason to to not take it. I'll, I'll just, uh, rather than looking gift horse in the mouth, I'll just be grateful. Thought maybe that moss in the corner would have something to do with something. Not really. I, I would really love to find... Oh, I guess these are the same as finding... Oh, he's an enemy. Shit, shit, shit. I guess it's the same as finding the uh, the cells in dead cells. Because I, I think it's becoming... I, like, I was fairly certain of it before, but this game is very, very much kind of recreating that feel. I don't want to diminish the work that these creators did, but you'll, you can see the comparisons. I uh, am I'm curious to see what other weapons are like, too. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Uh, that worked out pretty well, I'd say. Yeah, I'm hoping that I can collect enough gold to take back to buy a new weapon, because I want to see what like the swords and the halberds and stuff play like. The chain is badass. I like the range, and I feel cool as hell doing it. Oh shit. Oh my god. Okay, I do actually want to explore up there first. I do feel cool using it, but you know, maybe it's my favorite because it's the only one there is. Gotta try new things. Gotta see what else is out there. Ah, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll take I'll take a bonus. Uh, increased damage again. I imagine some of the time it would be increased health and things like that. Now, now I'm a little more cautious of these things. Those look bad too. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and assume to not step over that. Stepping over these candles and everything seems okay. Yeah, those look deadly. I'm gonna I'm gonna assume bad. I don't know if there's fall damage or anything, so I'm trying to actually take ladders. Be careful. Do some sort of ladder safety training. Obey <laughs> obey the safety lectures that they gave me when we started at the, uh, the Rift Corporation. Make sure we're not doing anything too risky. Not climbing up too high without being harnessed in or anything like that. Nice. Oh, wait. So this isn't going to count as clearing a dungeon, is it? Because we didn't kill 70% of everything. Unless this is just like the fast version. 
Oh, you have to go back through everything to find the remaining 15%. Nuts. That's going to take like a significant amount of additional exploring, actually, especially when I have to climb up all these ladders. I'm liking the, uh, the music currently right now. It's got a cool, like, intense RPG-ness to it, but it's also kind of like 80s weird trance synth vaporwaves, kind of almost. It's an interesting blend of genres. I'm into it. Oh, I'm also into finding... Oh, shit, I've already used that, haven't I? <laughs> no. <laughs> A nice spot to stop and heal up seemed real great. Oh, God. Come on, you bitch. Ah, getting the hang of it. I got an achievement possibly for smashing two enemies at once. Here is some flying bat-like enemies that I thought that those books were when I first saw them. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to go mess with that stuff that's down there because I want to see what happens when I clear a dungeon. So let's just take the way that we know is safe where everything's dead and get the hell, hell out of here. Oh no, you stupid bastard. Are you kidding me? That's why I didn't go messing around with the spikes before. Come Oh, and that was such bad luck. I was just hopping between ladders and slipped. Kill me now. That sucks. Doesn't count as a dungeon clear, does it? It it doesn't. It definitely doesn't. Do I have five? I think I only have four. Oh, nice. Picked up thick bronze, bronze pendant. So what is this going to do? A necklace made out of cheap bronze, mostly used by the common folk, grants a little amount of vitality and extra 15 health. Nothing crazy, but it's something. Ah, uh, you lose most of your gold. I can't afford any of the shit that you guys are selling. How about this? Is any of this affordable? Not at all. Thousands of dollars again. All right. Let's just go with the tavern, grab a beer. Isn't it weird that tavern lights are on when there's no one there? Yeah, I was kind of just thinking that maybe I could use a pint. Seems like I'm being kind of kept out. Being stopped from enjoying my life as a danger-seeking rift keeper. Come on, guys. You need me. I'm doing terrible here. I guess I just kind of went in a little too ballsy. Should have stopped. Thought through what I was doing a little bit more. Oop. I just... I'll just hope that I can make it to that healing spot quickly. At least now I know roughly the direction I need to head to find it. Uh, but if I recall correctly, yeah, it looked like I had to deal with some shit to get there. Come on. That sucked. That guy... I didn't realize how m committal your, your attacks were. Like, I could not get out from that whatsoever. I wanted to start dodging, but it was too late. I just wanted to see kind of how in the hole I put myself by dying there, because, like, I think you lose gold. Have you heard the rumors of cat folk living in distant lands? I didn't get to read the second part of it. Probably something talking about the world of uh, Elder Scrolls, right? Something like that, probably. Hmm, that was a handy one. Nice, easy find. If you can't one-shot things with that jump attack, it is, like, not good to use, really. Because then you're, you're just kind of stuck with this attack that doesn't stun them or anything like that. You're just stuck with that. You, you're just stuck in this attack pose for way longer than feels like is necessary. If you're going you're gonna to use big, cool guy looking attacks like that, you should practice on uh, recovering from it more easily. Man, those things always like clone when you kill them or something. But yeah, to myself, my rift keeper character that I'm playing as worry less about looking cool how abouts and look worry more about keeping yourself the hell alive when you're doing these risky combos making it through this in the two minutes is seeming less and less feasible oh it would be cool if you could go through that side door and go mess around with some stuff over there I, uh, I feel like I require an upgrade or something to do it like that my current, I, I need better weapons and shit to be able to get through it quickly, because right now is not really cutting it. I don't have the, the means, the skills. Jesus. That's as little health as I could probably possibly have. Uh, gonna have to abandon the two minute thing, even though I did 50% in like one minute. 
Gonna have to abandon that in favor of definitely going and finding a place to heal up. Right, I thought it was nearby. Good, good, good. Hey, now maybe we get back on track. Maybe we can still get 70%. Although the chests basically just give me gold. Oh, that takes way too long to run across. Never making that back in time. That's, uh, that's not gonna happen. I'll just give up on that dream now. No need to get my hopes up too, too soon, you know? Those are the types of things that you should be drop attacking. No point wasting your time on anything else. I mean, it says that I've taken out 70% of enemies. I don't know where the rest of them are. That's, I guess, on somewhere in that mid-level-ish area. I would have to go run off to the right. No clue. I'm uh, running as fast as I can. Is rolling faster. I honestly don't think it is. But I'm going to do it. 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 I'm going to clear it in the two minutes. Gonna set the record. Yeah, dungeon completed. An extra reward chest is waiting for you in town for completing the dungeon on time. Ah, I, I like the trade-off here. I like the trade-off. This time in particular, I am gonna return to town. I am gonna see... <sighs> Your health replenished. Where's this chest, though? Where Where is that? Because I want to claim that. Maybe it's at the far right there, past, past where you stop and, and first go in the rift. Because I want as much gold as possible. I want to try... Ah, here we are. Oh, so I was going to have one no matter what. Now I get the two. 69 gold. Wonderful. 714. Ballin. Back in my time, we only had chains as weapons. Yeah, that's mostly what I use too. Except for now. Now I'm going to upgrade my, my status, I think. What kind of goodies do you guys have for me? No, I don't have enough collectibles for that. What do I try? Sword, 5 damage, 5 health. Halberd, 5 damage. Vicious Defender. Worn old sets of arms. Still looks pretty solid. Provides vitality. Decreases speed. Heavy Crossbow. Crossbow could be a lot of fun, actually, but I, I don't quite have what it takes. The sword is more expensive. Mm, I think a weapon with a good beefy range could be fun, but maybe I buy the sword while I have the money. You know? Oh. My pendant didn't last. I didn't get to keep that. At least I don't think that I did. How do I how do I open that menu pack up again? Cause shit, I would love to uh Ah That was probably the mistake. I didn't actually equip it. This is the first time I've properly found the inventory. Didn't, apparently I'd never hit select before. Well, there we have it. Now I have this cool sword to try out. We're going to have to do a run with that. If we happen to make enough money, I'll see what the halberd's all about too. At the bottom there, it has level town. Oh, everything has full this time. Oh, it keeps going. I, uh, I still have to take out eight. Like, it, it doesn't reset to nine. So that's, that's interesting too. But I, I am going back to 1-1. Oh, maybe my maybe my jump attack here can recover more quickly when I'm using using a sword. Interesting to see what the full extent I can't break this big one, but the full extent of the trade-off will be going back to to town. Like there's probably advantages to sticking down in the dungeon, right? Or else it like wouldn't be an option. You would uh, you would just always go back to town. So I I'm gonna have to stick with that. Harder enemies, better reward, whereas maybe right now I'm kind of uh, setting myself up on maybe an easier path. Like, I, I just keep doing the, the initial entry level style dungeon, but uh, but I'm, I'm gaining like little pennies at a time rather than big hauls and big important upgrades and things like that. Oh, and I totally, you know, I, I found... A health or damage upgrade, which I think is now gone. No, I might still have it. Because uh, it still says two in the corner there, and I still have my health upgrade. I see no reason to not go to town unless you're just being real, real arrogant. I was scared that guy could attack me from where he was. Get out of here. That's too strong. <laughs> too good at what you do. Cut me some slack, man. I'm, I'm a big-time newbie. This is why I wanted the crossbow. 
I didn't want to have to get toe-to-toe -to -toe with these these enemies until I got a little better at things. Now I'm having to really test my grit, you know? Yeah, give me a few more enemies like that. Ones who walk straight into me without really winding up an attack so I can take them out nice and easily. More slimes, things like that, so that I can, I can get up to 70 as quick as possible. That would be nice. Just, just get, get a move on. I think if I head down below here, I should be able to find more quickly. I can't head down below. Is not where I thought I could, at least. Hmm. The level layouts have a lot of, like, weird straight stretches and stuff. They're not particularly exciting. Oh, I trapped myself right in the middle of that shit. God damn it. Well, that puts an end to that then, doesn't it? Now I'm back at my one. My sword is totally gone. Uh, money is largely reset. Well, shit. All right, well, let's do, like, one more attempt at this. You look just like my youth. That guy's so encouraging. I'm going straight for it. Hey, do you know what? Maybe it stays at .66 if you never leave the dungeon. That would be an interesting trade-off. And I just realized that I was dealing with, uh, like, one-third harder. I kind of forgot that that was the case. Why things... They didn't really feel like they had extra health, but it definitely would have made it uh, a difference. I guess I wouldn't have taken notice because I was using a new weapon as well. Yeah, so I want to I wanna do at least one more run here where I just kind of stay. Stay with it. Uh, like, if... If... When, if I complete the dungeon, that I just stay moving on without returning to town. Just see how that plays out. Experiment a little bit, you know? Try and give a good representation of the game. Cursed! Shit. Well, apparently sometimes you get curses. How about that? Game's a real hard-on, isn't it? Thanks for being such a jerk, Wad. I don't want to fight two big boys like this, but I feel like I'm going to have to... Oh, okay, they don't have a ton of health. I just gotta not start attacking them before they've had a chance to kind of wig themselves out a little bit and start punching the ground like some angry babies. Angry baby hulks. They, once I let them get some of that that antsiness out of their system, what in the sweet, merciful goddamn am I supposed to do about that shit? Come on. All right, that one doesn't count. I clearly don't have what it takes to deal with that particular enemy type, so let's just, uh... Sweet. That's what I wanted, was like a champion version of it just waiting for me the second I get down here. That's just fan-fucking-tastic. Obviously, I gotta let him start getting going on his combo there and then sneak past him, but I end up getting hit even trying to roll past him, so I'm just no good at that currently. Definitely gonna have to work on some of that. Come on. Come on, face the other direction. I want you to get a little distracted. Oh, well, you can't... That kind of sucks if they turn and face you right away. It makes it a lot harder to, like, wait for an enemy to be distracted and capitalize on that. You know, if they're going to turn and look at me, then being sneaky is nothing. You might as well just blast your way through at full speed and hope for the best. Oh, who's this dude? Just an alternate version of the teleporty blasty guys. Not a big fan of those guys. Don't don't see how he was particularly different. Maybe more damage, more health, something like that. Oh, face in the wrong direction. Well, now I need to go find somewhere to heal again. Maybe I'm maybe I'm not gonna make it through another run to <laughs> to try and see what happens if you don't stop and go down in between. I mean we can pretty easily guess what happens. Would have been nice to just take an actual proper look at it, though. And drop attack. Nope, nope, nope. Shit, that didn't work. <laughs> oh, come on, roll, dodge. Get the hell out of the way. You don't want to die to one tiny little floaty orb thing. Come on. Oh, I saw that bomb drop, and I got real panicky. And then I, and then I got hosed by not finding a heal station. Come on, man. There's got to be something. Oh. Another bomb drop. Don't, don't. I didn't know we could throw two bombs so close, close together like that. Son of a bitch. Well, do I have enough? I, I don't think I have enough collectibles for that. No. Do I have enough money for anything you're selling? Nope. Well, I'll give it one last run. 
I sent something close. Oh, it's you. Do I smell? Is that what you were sensing, perhaps? Oh, nice. <laughs> that thing, the weird gargoyle guy's range is just terrible, so he was very easy to, to slip past. Man, that thing has a lot of health. I uh, guess I should have committed more to an offensive approach. Trying to zip-dodge around him there just gave him the opportunity he needed. Shitty... You shitty bitch. <laughs> I don't know how else to, to express that I'm not too happy with that. Yep, I hate you. Can't even dodge past you properly. That's that's the worst part about that enemy for sure. Don't like that. Red, red might be the weakest version of those. All right, hopefully that's, uh, nope, decrease damage, sweet. Getting all the great curses here, all the best relic outcomes, so. So pleased with how how that's really helping me out. Thank you. Thank you so much. Can I layer the sarcasm on thicker? I doubt it. It's about as thick as it could possibly get. Okay, that, that, here's a better representation of the fact that the red ones are the, are the weaker ones. I kind of had figured that based on health. Then seeing the size difference there makes it a, a lot more apparent as well. Not too worried about champion archers at this point. They don't have a ton of health to begin with, so it's not too bad. I hate these things more than more than that. Nope, just committing to attacking, because fuck that. As soon as I roll around, I just get hit anyways. Nice. That was a, a much more rewarding chest than I'm used to finding uh, at this stage. See, it's level two plus, uh, it's like 205 in the bottom there. I don't really get what's up with that. Like, I, um, these aren't, I'm pretty sure they're randomized levels. I think it's entirely randomized, yet somehow it is labeling them differently. Like, uh, maybe it's like finding alternate versions of it. Like, there's the dungeon, and then there's the, the dark dungeon, and the deep dungeon, the dank dungeon. Just different variances on things I don't really know entirely. I've also become lost. Do not know where I need to go to find the portal out of here, as well as extra enemies. I must be on the right track if I'm finding unbroken boxes, because I sure do love smashing up boxes whenever I find them. Nope, I've been up here. I super... No, I guess I haven't. What the hell? Things really start looking and feeling the same, and I feel like I have, like, no map to go off of. Bailing. Bailing hard. Not gonna bother fighting that shit was hopeful, hopeful that I would find uh, a place to heal down here. This cart enemy I'm pretty sure sucks. No, he's explosive! The healing thing was right there! Get out of here, Gabe! You can go kiss your own ass! Ah, oh, What a dumb, stupid way to die! Come on! Oh, I'm so angry about that. I, I don't want to play anymore. <laughs> I could have just taken the portal, but the place to heal was a. Uh, uh, there you have it, guys. There's Rift Keeper. Definitely a learning curve. Big, big learning curve on this one. Comes out January 14th. You guys can keep an eye out for it. I'll have a link in the description. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again soon.